this. Today we're going to talk about the usage of a T350 35 foot JLG lift, a personal lift. Very handy for the homeowner to want to do his uh, weekend chores. Um, anytime if he's got some shingling to do, painting to do, any type of work that he feels he can do it himself, you come and hook up with the pickup and take it home and put it to use. And I'll go through the steps to make this thing work correctly for you. To start out with, we've got a, a drop in, a drop cord plug in with an indicator that shows the charge on it. If you come and pick this up in the morning, it will be charged and it will be ready to go for all day. If you're gonna have it for a day, two days, three days, just a good habit is plug it in in the evening and then it's 100% ready to go. Okay, first of all, we come up here to the hitch. <clears throat> You get the, the lift within a vicinity of what you want to use, where you want to use it, and unhook it from the vehicle. Then we put the brake cable on. So that locks the wheels and just gives you more stability to operate the machine. Then we come over here and you've got your, your panel that operates it, which you can operate from the ground, or I will show you, you can operate it from the basket. But what you've got is there's two color codes here. One is for the basket, blue is basket, and the purple is for operating from the ground. You will get a sound like that, which you have to operate this particular step from the ground. So what we do is we got to put our stabilizers down first. That sound you just heard, those three beeps, tells you that the machine is level and it's ready to operate at that point. Now, if you want to, typically you're going to be operating from the basket. Though otherwise, if you have a situation where there's a person up in the basket and he doesn't want to run the controls, you can do it from down here. Uh, leave it on this particular purple color and you've got your different buttons here for your boom extension, for your tilt of the uh, stand, and then you've got your, your button for uh, raise and lower. Now the thing to remember when you're going to go in the basket and go up and do your job, you've got to switch this to the blue right here, have the key vertical on the blue. That puts the power to the basket. It's all coated. Okay, and the next step before you get in the basket, you have a clamp right here that you're going to want to unlatch the boom so the boom can continue up. And when you're done with usage, you again bring and lock that down so that isn't bouncing around when you're going down the road. We have the, the emergency out, so it's ready to operate. And you've got different stages here, uh, different settings for what you're gonna wanna do for different times of the machine. Pretty much basic. So what I'm gonna do is start out right now. I'm gonna do the lift. We will switch it over and we'll do the extension. Very nice to be able to reach into a tree or up against a barn or a house to be able to get wherever you need that situation or that to be able to get that reach. Then we will go and switch it over here and this is going to give us our pivot. Then we will switch it back here and we want to turn from side to side. So we run our lever like this. 
you can only go about 15 degrees that way. This way you'll be able to bring it all the way around. Uh, the other way it, it stops, there's a stop, but you can swing into the tree or what have you when you want to do it this way. The key to operating this lever is on the back side you have a toggle switch. You'll see my finger there. You got to push the toggle switch in before you start to operate it. That gives it the signal to go ahead. It's ready to operate. So that's something that you want to remember. Toggle switch, then lever. The far left position on the switch gives you the ability when you're holding the lever to tilt this basket as well to get exactly into the right uh, mode that you want to be in. We'll be going back down now. Goes to a height of 35 feet. Want to do a job with this for the weekend. It's about a five minute training and we can get you set up so that you can go home and do your work and it's it's a very handy piece of equipment and you can get a lot done in a short period of time. Then we take and raise our stands. This is if you want to move to another location or you're done with the job. You pull the stands all the way up. And then the next thing is don't forget to come up here and take the brakes off so that the wheels can turn and it'll save you a lot on your $5 gas. It pulls a lot easier then.